right, so here's cylinder number four. The one with messed up compression. Tons of blow by. Got the piston pulled out. That's the connecting rod bearing journal there. Looks pretty good. And this is what it looks like from the bottom side. Looks really good. Everybody's happy. Not any discoloration. And that's what the main bearing cap cradle looks like. And here's the rod bearing. It's got a couple of spots in it. I'm going to put that sucker right back in there. It'll be just fine. This is the side that goes into the rod here. And it's got a wipe on it. And it looks like it hit at one time or another. It hit. A little bit of an odd shape. Uh, it's probably starting and stopping. It's probably what did that. Other than that, though, it looks in fine shape. No discoloration or anything funny going on. I pulled the um, piston out. Let's see, now that's the driver's side. Arrow points the driver's side. There was a question about where the rings were lined up. They weren't that far off. I mean, they were probably like this. And the oil control ring gap was there. So. I don't think it was set up very good as far as that's concerned. Um, I have no way to tell but just by squeezing the ring, you know, the level of tension. But just looking into the gr ring groove, you know, I don't see any really bad things going on there inside the groove or on the ring at all. As far as scoring, excessive carbon buildup anything like that it, it, it looks really good now this car has 216,000 miles on it the oil control ring does have a little bit of goop in it but it's not that bad really it's this this looks really good here's the scuffing on the side of the piston and that tells me it got hot and it had some trouble so I'm not too worried about it I'm going to replace the pistons. I got a set from Engine Tech for about a hundred bucks or so with a set of rings. So it'll go together nicely and won't be too bad of a deal in the long run. So if you look at the end there, there's no discoloration, no huge problems as far as, hey, there's something busted or cracked concern. So uh, we're in good shape. It's got some really nice uh, rod bolts. And they're the funny 12 points. You got to use a, like a 10 millimeter 12 point uh, socket. Alright, anyway, y'all have a good day. Okay, well, I wanted to show these pistons I got from Engine Tech. They look pretty good kind of get a good look at this it comes with the new comes with a new wrist pin all of it looks really nice uh, these are the ring set that comes with it it's got some pre-lap rings oil control rings box says made in USA so hey we can't argue with that and I've used engine tech for lots of things so lots of engine builds and things it's it's good enough it'll work it'll be just fine all right take it easy on this 01 Honda Accord it's got the F23A1 engine in it 2.3 liter four-cylinder VTEC and this is what our cylinder walls look like this is cylinder number four our worst one uh, this is number three. You can see some parts on the sides where it's got a little bit of scoring. 
cylinder number two. This one's in better shape as far as the compression is concerned, but still scoring on the sides. And cylinder number one, this was the best one. This one had 195 psi on the compression test and the best leak down at five percent. So that's an update on that. We'll get to the rest later. Thanks. Have a good day. Cylinder number four and the sunlight is so bright. Here we go. I'm gonna move back some. You could probably get the cylinder wall. All I've done is clean that cylinder wall up with this green scotch bright pad and my Klecko really long air. It's 1800 RPM some uh, cutting wool and then I put WD-40 on it afterwards but it looks pretty good get the flashlight sunlight can't make up its mind I can't even tell if it's any good or not but anyway that's what it looks like so far all right so here's the drill set up that's the uh, the stone set up for it and all right there we go ball hone and then I've got the uh, brush manufacturing people flex hone uh, oil there cutting oil I just put it into the squirt gun to make it easy so that's how we're gonna do it so we're back at it on the old one accord this is the uh, f23 a1 and that's the cylinder wall now that sunlight's really bright right there so but that's the pattern we got from the ball home i'm gonna wash it off with soap and water and get it back together and that's what it looks like when you do that all right so on this 2.3 liter four cylinder honda we're working on here i'm about ready to put the piston in piston ring compressor rings are on this is the type of lube i'm going to put on the bearing this is what I'm going to put on the piston. Now I just have this stuff. Just regular uh, motor oil will work fine. Cylinders wiped down and clean. Everything's ready to rock and roll. I'm doing this a little different because of the uh, the main bearing is on a cradle. And I don't want to pull all four pistons out at the same time. Because uh, it will put too much weight of the crankshaft on the, uh, on the front and rear uh, seals. So I'm just going to do them one at a time. Which is a little bit more trouble. But that's okay with me. Alright. Take it easy. Bye got them all done I didn't video every one of them but got them all done everybody's home new pistons all installed I just need to torque it all down on the bottom end still all right take it easy